Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dylan Martin fishing video. Today's video, you are going to watch me and my brother walk around the bank of two small ponds bed fishing. It was a crazy video, we had a lot of fun. Stay tuned. It is currently 74 degrees outside. We're hoping to see some bedding bass on the corners of these ponds. <clears throat> When we drove by them earlier, yeah, we'll look, I can one. already see a fish on a bed from here. We should, we should catch some fish. Hopefully, we can see a couple ones. All right, look, hold on. Slow approach, slow approach, slow they're approach. Stay right here. I'm gonna lose my rod. Too. Look, hold on. I'm about to catch this fish. Hold on. Don't get any closer. You're gonna scare him. Dude, that's a Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to catch this fish. Dude, this braid sucks at pitching. Oh look, here's one right here. Oh, he's spinning. That's already a fish. I got one too. This is a good one. Yeah, it is. Up, this is a good one. Yeah, it is. Damn. He's aggressive. They, they, they must have just, <sighs> just cleaned the phone. Look at that, dude. This is already going to be a good video, I can tell. Right, let's release these babies under the Off he goes. Holy crap, look at all those fish. I know, like... Look at them. I got a good fish coming right towards mine. He just broke me off. Holy crap, dude. We've got like a feeding frenzy, bro. Look, there's the freaking bass swarming. Got one. Oh. There's another one, baby. There's freaking two right there. Look at that, another nice fish. Dude, this video is going to be crazy. This is a crazy video. Look, look at that bass swarming right there. There's probably one on bed in there. Dude, look at that. That was a nice one right there, dude. That's a, yeah. Look, that, that, that one's on awesome. there. I just had one, dude. Oh, there's a bunch right here. Look, he's on the bed. See? Look at all these fish everywhere, dude. Holy crap. Right on bed. Yeah, I do. Look, he swam right at it. He's got it. Yeah. There you go. There we go. That's one. It's a nice one, too. That's flashy. I'm going to make the other one. Come on. Another nice one. Dude, I love fishing like this, dude. The old baton worm gets it done. He ran right towards it, too. That guy's using shiners, absolutely crushing them. Crushing Let him have it first There's one right behind it. Yeah, I can see that. But he needs to... He needs Crush it. Crush it. Mm -hmm. They don't bite it good Maybe enough though. I want to catch these ones right here. See how explosive they are on it though? Bring it out a little I like being able to see it too. Yeah. 
Too much about that but you can see it in this clear water. Can chew it. Come over here. Maybe I, they swam this way. There was just like a four pounder right here. Like that's the one I want to catch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good fish right here. Pickerel just bit it, of course. A freaking pickerel. I want to Good fish? Oh boy, I'll, I'll save you. Look at that. Look at that hook in the top of his mouth. Yep. Look. Wow, he had a hook in him? Yep. See, that's not someone breaking off. That's someone tying a poor knot because you can see there's no line. Crushed. Dude. This is crazy, dude. Oh, he freaking demolished it. <laughs> Holy shit. That pulse jig with the freak. This is all, all of everything I'm running right now is a sponsored thing. Besides I've got the Crush City Mare on a pulse jig on a Trika rod. Yeah. This is, this you know, is just, actually like crazy. A, yeah. And this is Suffix Line, which is owned by Rapala. Yeah. Bro, they're literally on it. Dude, Ooh. it's going to be one after the other. Um... It draws the bites because it literally looks like a bait fish. Because that tail, that's the thing, that's that tail. They just they play with that tail. Look, that guy's just got a bite. Right about where it is is where they always show up. It literally just went like back to back to back with it. Dude, this this is actually so fun. I told you, I told you this swim bait was gonna produce today, Tom. Another little one. Why? This, of course, this would happen to me. Of course, this would happen to me. That's the only one I have. Ooh, good fish on bed right here, dude. Whoa. That's a good fish. Dude, come on. This tree is in my way. Oh, yeah, baby. I want to get this one on bed. Oh, yeah. Come on. You know you want it. This is a good fish on bed, too. He's nosing right on that bait. Pitch back here. Come on. Come on, this tree, dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Tom, I've got a three pounder on bed right here that I'm working. Dude, how does that even happen, man?
come on. Oh yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah. no. No. Little buck, there we go, that's a good one. Right at that corner where that tree is, I worked and worked a three pounder, he bit and then he came off. But look. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go work on these other fish. Because these other fish seem more productive than that fish. He's just it's I think he maybe just got on bed today, you know. She's not super, super, super protective of the bed just yet. But some of these fish over here certainly are. The key, the key is you gotta kinda kick back from it, you know? Cannot be directly on it or they will not bite. Like this one, he just nibbled it. It gets a nibble from at least every fish I pick on because it, it's just like the most annoying thing to be on your bed is a jig. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I thought he had it. I thought he had it. possible time my reel could do that to me is right now dude come on four pounder on bed let's let's backlash right christ almighty found to happen to me and of course it's gone long gone probably my best chance at catching that fish is right here this jig on this bed Oh, she's on it. She's on that bed. Oh, she's protective of that bed. Oh my God. She just knows right on it. The jig's right in the middle of the bed. Let's see if I can get this fish to bite. I'm working this fish. I'll sit here all day. This fish. She's nosing on it. She's nosing on it. Oh my God. What a feeling. She's right on it. She just bit it. It's on your bed, mama. Gotta protect them babies. She literally nose right up to it. Bit it just like that. She kind of swam off, but I think she's definitely going to circle back. I'm going to pull off. Oh, look at her. She's right there. She's right on it. She's right on the bed. She's, oh my God. Oh my God. She's nosing on it. She's nosing on it. Eat it. Come on. You know you want to. You know you don't like that on that bed, mama three four pounder you know just an excellent feeling look she just came to the top there see that making a big loop Tom what I'm working a four pounder right now and she's does not like this jig she's beating it come on mama look at her she's right on that jig dude Whew. 
This fish is 100% catchable. I just need to keep working her. Working her and working her. Just like that. Knows it, knows it, knows it. I think if I get this right in the middle of the bed, right now, she's going to bite it because her loops are getting tighter and tighter on this bed. Oh yeah, here she comes. Charges it, charges it. She is a good fish too. And I mean a good fish. This jig is sharp, so I'm expecting to get her. If she bites it. Come on, mama. Ooh, dude. I'm gonna work this whole bank. This pond has got more fish bed and that pond has got more fish cruising. She's nosing it, she's nosing it, she's nosing it, she's nosing it. Come on. She's got it. Oh my god. She's got it. She's got it. Oh dude, look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Dude. This is a good fish. I, I worked and worked this. Calm down, calm down. Tom! Tom! That's a nice three, four pounder. Dude, I worked her. Right in the top of the mouth. Black and blue jig. I had a feeling this jig was gonna produce. Calm down, calm down. You'll be out in a second, let me just. Dude, what a nice fish too. And there she goes, wow. They might go for it too. Look at them. That's right on the bed, but it's in the tree too. The bed is like underneath that, like right there. Ah, oh, something just blew up right here. Oh, it's that pickerel. Pickerel. It's a piccadilly. Ooh, that's a good fish right there. Look at that. Pitch a jig at these fish. See if they'll bite it. Ooh, he just bit my jig. And there's two of them, too. And that pickerel wants it. See, oh, oh my god, I think I see a possible five pounder over there. He went right towards it. He's got it, he's got it. Or he bit it at least. Wow, that is a possible five pounder. Look at that fish, dude. I need to get this right on him, and I think he'll bite it. He went right up to it, and he hit it. He just didn't get it all the way, you know? There's fish all up in there. Wow, look at them all. Oh, I thought I had one. I wish this wasn't so...
wish this wasn't so uh, flooded over here. Dude, look at that fish. I want him so bad, dude. If I can catch that fish, dude, I will be happy. fish to bite, but it didn't mean nothing. Dude, that's where that five pounder was. Tom! There's a potential five pounder over here. Got him. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. Oh, I think this is a different fish. But there is one over here that is a potential five pounder. This is still a good, good fish. But this is not the one that I saw before. Oh, he's buying me. Tom, this is the buck. That's the buck. This is the buck. The, the five pounder came in. The five pounder came in. Oh my God. Tom, the five pounder is right here. This isn't him, this is a different fish. Another good one. I told you this jig would produce. Come on. The, well, there's the five pounder. If you come quickly, you can see him. He's right on the surface. See him? Yes, it is. You should have seen... Oh, my God. You should have seen him when he came up shallow. Thank you all for watching this video. We had a really great, great time. Very fun. I think all in all, we caught probably almost 25, 30 fish between the two of us just walking around the bank. Uh, if you want to check out any of my sponsored products that I use, you know, the baton worm, the trika rod, the mayor, the pulse jig, you can check all that out in the description below. I'll have a list for all of the sponsored products that I use in this video. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in